Welcome back everyone to Crafting on a Budget. This is probably like, I don't know, take 50, take 100, who knows, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. It's like 6.04 in the morning and I just finished live streaming and I had to come back and finish this and I can't seem to get it right. Maybe it's the lack of sleep, who knows, I don't know. You guys, somebody out there knows. But, alright, so we were live streaming and we were working on these. And I didn't finish it because we were all exhausted from all the laughter. Who would have known that ladies would get together and laugh? But yeah, we have an awesome time. Okay, so here's my little um, skis. Now these are using the Jumbo Popsicle Sticks. Now I highly recommend you purchase the one from Hobby Lobby because you can use your 40% coupon. And we definitely need a 40% coupon when, it work, when we're crafting, right? So you're going to need a total of four for one ski. Why do you need four? Because we sandwich them up. Our sandwich was two there. My inspiration source came from these that I purchased, or this set that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. It's four dollars after the fifty percent off. So it's originally seven ninety nine. You're going to need. This size popsicle sticks if you want them this size, or you can use the smaller size. It says jumbo, but they're not really jumbo. Okay, this is the Hobby Lobby brand one, but they're not really jumbo. The jumbo is these monstrous ones, okay? That's that to me is jumbo. Alright, you're also gonna need, you know, I used folk art home decor wax antiquing wax and I got this finish from it okay I just mixed it in with a little bit of water which I have to go in and spray some more because I got it okay and the other one is the apple barrel burnt umber again diluted it with some water and the burnt, burnt umber looks like this, and I had to sand it down. I didn't care too much for the color, but of course, you can sand it down and get a nice little rustic feel to it. I use these little skewers that I got from Young Sue. I don't know where she picked these up, but you can use any skewer. It'll work. These were perfect for this project. I was going to use the smaller ones, but after some serious thinking, I think this size here is perfect for both the small and the jumbo and you're also going to need some twine I use this one from Dollar Tree it's very inexpensive you get a pack of three for a buck and uh, wood glue paper or book binder clips and you could use your hot glue and you may need it after a bit. Now Hobby Lobby had these picks um, and I paid 50 cents after the 50% off so you want to grab some of those and I think, I think they were 50% off so I paid 50 cents. Um, you'll need like a thin weight chipboard. This is really thin weight and I cut out um, a little circle that I kind of traced around with one of these because I didn't have a small the, the one inch was too big after some serious thinking so I had to go back to the drawing board it's to recreate these little I don't know what they're called ski sticks <laughs> what are they called Aristi told me I already forgot who knows they're just you know pretty pretty little things but I don't know the name so I thought that the one inch circle was too big uh, I think that's about it. Cold. I'm cold. Alright, so let's begin. You guys don't want to hear that I'm cold. I would use your Tim Holtz scissors. They're pretty good for this. Make a marking. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a marking. Alright, you're going to um, take one. Take one down and pass it around and just cut it. Trim off one end, right? Just like that. And you're going to do this for the small and the large. It's the same concept. Then, snip 
loop off the other end. Use one of these for your little template and grab your pencil, line it, flush it, do whatever. Grab your pencil and make your marking. And then use that. And just keep on cutting. And then once you have all your pieces, keep one as your base. One's always got to be your base or your template. Um, then you'll have to glue them together with some wood glue and just make sure, see like right there, it's a little bit in these. The wood glue is water soluble, this one, I don't know why, um, but it's very water soluble. But you want them sandwiched in, you use your wood glue and I can see that right there, I didn't do a good job in getting that glue in there. So hopefully, squeeze some of that in there. Binding clip and clip it down. I want to make sure they're really like this one. I can tell it's not strong enough. There, gotta get one that has oomph in there, some strength. All right. So you're left with that. Then you want them to be really nice and sandwiched in, and like that. Okay. Then you're going to decide, are you going to use burnt umber or are you going to use wax? Whatever you're going to use, it's up to you. I like the, the, the wax look, um, but again, that's up to you. Now, for the bottom part, which are these, okay, what you're going to do is grab another popsicle stick. Imagine that. We're going to use a popsicle stick. One of them is going to be a little bit bigger. I'm eyeballing it. Okay. So one's bigger, take that one, you're going to leave a second one that's going to be about an eighth of an inch smaller piece. So what I do is flush it, instead of sitting there and measuring, taking out the ruler, you know, just another tool that we don't really want to pull out. Flush it, right, make a mark once it's flushed. So that is the flush mark, right? Move it just about an eighth of an inch down, just a tad bit, just a tad bit, and then make another mark. Okay? You're going to cut on that second line, not the first one, the second line that you made. You're left with one, and we're going to glue it so you can see. So one smaller than the other, can you see, can you see the difference? can't see the difference because no, you can't see the difference like that. See that? It's a smaller, just a tad bit smaller. It's flush, but can you see it? Okay, you can see it. Put glue on the smaller piece. Flush it around, glue it around, get it in there. Nice and juicy, flush it. That glue. Yuck, yuck. One of these days, I'm going to have clean hands when I'm working on a project. Alright. And get flushed, flush, flush. Grab your binder kit clip, the one that has the, 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 the super duper strength. Don't get the one that looks like it lost some kind of, I don't know, oomph in the middle of doing what it's supposed to. Okay, so clip it in, just like so. Get a good connection there. And then put it aside, let it dry. Grab your skewers and put your little concoction of mixed water with stain or mixed water with burnt umber and give it a nice little coat. Then take your if you have the small half inch or three quarter inch punch, go ahead and punch it. But you want to make sure it's not too big, too, too big. Um, and then take a whole punch and make a punch in the center. So then you're going to take some twine and you're going to put a bit down the bottom. And we're going to do that together. Don't worry. 
and then put, well, this would have been great. This, I had already done this. Um, um, I had already put the thread in there. Right, go ahead and grab a little, move it over. A little bit of hot glue. I need to get this whole station. I need to move this desk again. I think I'm going to move this desk because this is not functioning for me. The camera is not functioning for me. Nothing's functioning for me. So get it in, right? Right. Get the other one in. Ideally, you want to put it on the bottom pointy edge but I had already wrapped this one in and yeah. alright so you have that how do we get to that you're asking well I'll tell you take your little skewer poke your little pokey thingy in okay just like that grab your little twine this Dollar Tree twine. Some of it has like really thick areas. You want to cut that off, like thick area stuff. All right. Put a little bit of glue into your skewer. Take your twine. And wrap. So you have the desired look that you want and finish it off with a little bit of that. I'm going to cut it off right there because see that piece is ugly. I want to do it tight. With that. Now, how do you do the handle, you may say. Okay, we're going to do the handle now. Grab your twine, except that ugly piece there that was, I don't know what Dollar Tree puts together. Sometimes I wonder about those people. My glue webs, look at that, glue webs everywhere. Yeah, all right. A little bit on one side, a little bit on the other side. Get your twine down, make a loop de loop like that for your handle. Grab your twine, bring it around, and keep wrapping. Keep wrapping until you say stop. Do you feel like you want to stop? Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say stop, may stop. Okay. And snip it off. And we're back with a cute little doohickey that looks like that. Okay. So let's do that again. One on one side, one on the other side. Let me find. I don't know what is, I, I'm using cheap glue because I ran out of the good, the good hot glue. So. I think that's why I have blue webs. So 
tons of it. So anyways, and this glue was, this glue is just not, I think I got this glue from Dollar Tree because it is just not doing me any justice today. So. Make sure they're both about the same. That one, let's do the last one. So let's do that, clean that. And then we're gonna, I'll show you how to put the bottom piece on. And then, and then, and then, and then, we're gonna make it pretty, pretty, like Miss Joyce is always saying, pretty. And she's a pretty. What I mean about this Dollar Tree, I, it's very affordable, but look at that big old chunk, like really, come on now. I'm going to have to cut that off because I do not want to mess with that big old, it looks like a rat nest. don't like that rat nest. I don't, I don't, I'm going to cut that off because I don't like dealing with that rat nest. It's so relaxing to make your own little Christmas tree. It's also more affordable to make your own Christmas, not Christmas tree, Christmas decor. Um, in all reality, it really is. And so meaningful. Why am I such an, an idiot? Hey, you're such an idiot. I'm a hard time on this last one. Come on, get it right. Get it right, man, get it right. Okay. Ideally, you want this all to, I don't know why it's, it's stuck. What's helping me today? This Finally, after like I don't know how many times of trying to get it on here, right? Probably saying. All right. 
So then we have one, two, three. Don't know why I did three. For now, we'll do. Okay, so then you are going to have to assemble. So you're wondering why is one piece smaller than the other? Well, that's because you want to flush it so that it has that nice little angle. So here's what you're going to do. You can use wood glue or you can just say, um, I'm just going to say the heck with it. I'm going to use some hot glue and that's perfectly okay. No problem with that. Hot glue works just as good and fast. I'm using hot glue because... I have to make sure it glues on for the purpose of the video. Um, but if you're using wood glue, just lean it against something and it'll it'll glue up, it'll dry up. Dry, glue up, yeah. Yeah, that's really good English. Again, let's do it again. Right where that little groove is, you're gonna put your glue and then you're going to Nope, wrong side. Okay. Pull it in. Hold it in. Okay. So then now they're kind of angled. See that? Alright. So then, you're saying, alright. So then what? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to take this cheap Dollar Tree twine that's driving me insane. I don't know why it's driving me insane at this present moment. And we're going to take more glue. We're going to go start in the back to hide some of that ugliness of the glue. And right there. And we're just going to hide the glue and then Go in over how many layers you want, and then I'm good with two, but you can go three if it's really thin. Um, I'm gonna go with two. And then wrap it to the back. Wrap it to the back. Worry about the excess glue. And snip. You're left with that. Do the same thing with the other one. Get your little twine. Start in the back always and then work your way to the front. And there's that little knot in mess again. Jeez. Jesus Louise. So now you have that, right? So then what you're going to do is see how we crisscross applesauce? You're going to go back to kindergarten and we're going to crisscross applesauce, slay them, just flush them so that these two pieces are bang down. So put a glue, a bit of glue in the center and then set them on a tabletop. And kind of get them to stand there, tip to tip, so that they're both. Kind of even, not wonky. Okay. Then, take your little doohickeys, right? The little doohickeys. We're going to start with the big ones. I like working with the big ones. And you're going to crisscross applesauce again. This cross applesauce.
Ideally, you want these to blush with that. I don't have to do it like that. Because this little thing here kind of gets in the way of what we want to do. So I'm going to glue down the one. that one's glued down. So one on top of the other. So what happens when you're like up, it's late, you haven't slept much. I think I need more glue. Uh, you know what? Let's do something. Christmas tree. Right, right, right. This is my thought process on it. The way Hobby Lobby has it, they don't even have theirs blue. It's just tied up with a piece of it, like fake leather. Right, so we have this, and then, yeah, that'll work. And then on that little that little knot of the twine that would serve as our little resting place for that. So yeah, that worked out great. Awesome. I like when something that wasn't planned really works. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to take our little pick pick. lay that like so like that isn't that gorgeous oh i am loving it guys all right so we are going to i had a hard time cutting these out the other day so i'm going to try timmy was doing a really good job well this one wasn't too bad made me look like a liar don't it tim tim you really made me look like a liar today That's not going to be bad. I'm going to put a ribbon there anyway. I'm just going to keep it on. When, when is it not, you know, every day ends in Y. So when don't I put 
confuse you guys, right? I'm always confusing you guys. So we're going to lay that like that. Right smack in the center of that. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. There we go. Smack in the center like I said I was. There we go. Ooh, can you imagine taking some uh, gold rub and just going around lightly around the edges? Oh, that's going to be the or white splatter. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to reach here. I have to take my little headphones off because I can't reach to the other side to grab my seam by knee. So give me a second. The only thing about my headset thing is I'm limited in moving around. I can't stand up. Alright, so then we're just going to make a pretty little bow. I gotta go back and get some more picks. What is today? Today is Saturday. So I gotta go to Hobby Lobby and pick up more picks. Why? Because I got some skis to make for my tree. I think that bone needs to be a little bit bigger. Let me make my hands stretch out bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. There. Perfect. Just like Miss Joyce. Perfect. Okay. Bend my little bunny ears back. We're going to pop it right smack there. And we're going to say, voila. Voila, voila, voila. Then we're going to take, you're wondering how you're going to hang it up on the tree or wherever you're going to hang it. Well, I'll tell you how. Oh, hello, more twine. Now, we're going to put a bead because we're going to make it fancy smancy. See, look at that. Gosh, darn it. Gosh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. These are wood beads that I used the other day for... Um, I bought these a while back. I don't use them or not. I'm using them now for Christmas, right? That's all. Tell ya, this stalker tree twine. Why was I saying buy this one? No, no, buy what works for you. Yes. I get annoyed with something like this. Maybe it's because I'm just tired. All right, look, we did it. We did it. We did it. All right. I'm going to make another knot so it's not moving around. 
I think I cut this a little bit too short, to be honest. To be honest. But we'll figure it out. Because we want this not to be bigger. So, scratch it off the record. Let's gra grab a little bit bigger of the twine. Hopefully we don't have a crazy mess. Okay. Maybe that for something else. That. Okay, so we're going to leave a loopy loop that's big enough to hang on your tree tree, okay? That should, that should be good enough to hang on your tree. And then, because this thing is like crazy, now that should go around your branch, 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 yeah. Alright, so then we're going to try another one. I'm just going to open up the two little... I just don't want that uh, bead to move around. Okay. Speak not too loud, May, because this twine from Dollar Tree is not right. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and make a knot at the end. You're saying, how many knots are you going to do, woman? each end. Okay. Okay, okay. Smoky, we might have to put some more glue on there. Alright, let's get this party going. We're going to put that there, one here, and I think that is going to be um, Did I do it? Hold on. I'm going to use that twine I'm going to add a little bit more glue because and we could probably add like see I'm going to take a little bit of this and just hide that a little a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. And I just kind of hide that there. Okay. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit. Oh, look at that. I did not want to check, just double check on my glue here. Kind of moving. I don't want that to happen. Guys, 
That is so stinking adorable. We can take some splatter, splat it up if we want. Um, it's entirely up to you. I just gave you guys the idea. You guys go run for it. Run to the border with it. We're going to do one more. We're going to do the other big one. Now that we've got it down pack, right? Right, right, right. Now that we've got an idea of what we're doing and not just making crazies. So here's this one. I'm going to go ahead and hold it now. Excuse me. Some of this crazy cheap wine, right? Drives me crazy, but it's cheap. How thin is it now? This one's like super t thin. Oh my gosh. Can you guys make up your mind? I, seriously, that is like, how do you go from crazy chunky parts to a super thin one? It's like when they were making this twine, someone wasn't thinking. They were just thinking, let's hurry up and put it out there. The Dollar Tree people in Dollar Tree don't care. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to use... Flatten out. Don't have too much of it. These little pieces kind of make it hard. So we gotta find something to anchor it in because those pieces make it super duper hard. Get that anchored in. And just put a big old glob of glue in the center. Good contact. These cheap boys are real good. That's a big old glob of glue for sure. they were thinking who put that together but I never use even numbers of flowers. Always odd. And two flowers, no. Four flowers, no. But three, yes. Always odd numbers. See, is that Are you kidding me? That cheap glue. Oh, what is up with me in glue? That thing is not wanting to glue, dry up. Look at that. I 
Unless your door is going to be tied down. skimp out on is blue. That is super duper. You don't want this cheap stuff is just not happening. It's just not happening. Now I glued this. Y'all saw me glue this on live. Why this is doing this and it's beyond me. It's the only thing I can think of it's the cheap glue. Gotta be. I have never had to deal with such horrible glue. I'm gonna have to use wood glue for that. Horrible, horrible. What I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna end up tying it because um well, that one's making contact. I'm not quite sure why. It literally does not want to glue down right. Got to make sure it makes contact because otherwise it's going to be difficult. So we're going to secure it in place with this crazy twine from this crazy store called Dollar Tree that we all can't stay away from. As much as we all complain about, oh, that didn't last long. Oh, that is no good. We always manage to go back. I'm guilty of that. I have no shame in admitting it. shame and admitting. So actually I kind of like the fact that I, at least we're getting some kind of a, a, a better protection. I would I would strongly feel more comfortable with hanging it knowing that it's a lot more protected that way. video that wasn't supposed to be this long. It's now 43 minutes long just so that I let you guys know. I'm just saying. I don't know how I managed to do this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and tie it back here because again. Right, so now that we have that under some kind of a humanistic, humanistic is that a word? Uh, who knows? At 6.53 in the morning when I have it's left, who knows? I don't know why insomnia is such a horrible, horrible thing.
I think I like my, what? I don't know about y'all. I mean, this is just wood, a wood cut out with a little bit of fur. You could probably, you know, figure out how to do that. Um, take some foam, some of that styrofoam and shape it up into little boots. Or you can use some Barbie shoes and kind of gesso it up, make it stiffen, whatever, and use those for, for little snow boots. I'm not going to do all that. I really am not. I'm, I'm a lazy crafter. Y'all can do it. I have faith in you guys can do it. Okay. I should have made my, my crafter the lazy craft my show up my channel the lazy crafter. Not that I'm lazy in other aspect, I just don't like doing, you know. I just don't want to. I choose to what I want to do. Glue this down. It's not gonna work if you don't glue it down. The length of it, it's kind of like a personal preference, I would say, because it all depends on how big of a length you want on the hang for your tree. Say that's a personal preference. Again, get some splatters on there if you want. Make it look like snow, like it has some snow going up in there. That's going to be my finishing touch on these and then I'm going to call it uh, a bada bing bada boom good night because this video is going on for an hour and I have no idea why probably because I talk too much and goof around too much I have no idea why and I can't get this knot to go in right because this twine is just so screwed up thin skinny I wish what you just screwed up it's more how the heck did I'm not going <laughs> to Oh my god, man. You are a, an idiot. A total, utter idiot. Uh, we're going to make a do. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was thinking about, guys. But I got a knot there now. I don't even know why I was making it so short. <laughs> Lack of sleep, baby. Oh my gosh. Someone shoot the crafter. <laughs> oh, MG. OMG, OMG. Err. about to say the heck with this cut it out and start 
Get him out of there. He's a fly. Okay. Who would have thought that only 20 million years later I could get this figured out? Reminds me of uh, one of the SpongeBob. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. Where he says, I don't know how many years lived to live. I'm sure Nani will probably tell me Mom you got that wrong. I'm sure she would. Meanwhile, my other side of my glue is kind of like drying up. Because I'm just too slow of a crafter. Take a little, uh, uh, a gold little metallic pen and write the year that you made it. Are you serious, man? Excuse my guys. I, 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 I have to laugh at myself sometimes. I don't know what I was thinking. you up right here because you're such a goofy child because you can't get it right you can't get it right man there there Take some blue splatters and splat this up. I just use gesso because it's here, it's affordable, and you know, and it's what I'm going to use. That's why. I will make my other skis. Off camera, of course, because I'm already tired. I'm just too tired. I just had to come here and give you guys. Finish this up because I need to start something and not finish it up. 
Okay. All right. So there we have it. Aren't they just darling? I think so. And again, under a dollar actually, because when you think about it, the popsicle sticks is close to nothing. Um, the spray, I paid 50 cents for them with the 50% off. And um, team binding, it's like 100 yards, it's really affordable. Uh, the skewers, I was gifted to me, but even if I bought them, you can get a big pack of skewers at um, Dollar Tree or Walmart for close to nothing. And you created a wonderful uh, ornament for really less than a dollar. Um, when you think about it, or a dollar actually, if you want, to, if you want to be technical, okay, a dollar. But I think, um, as opposed to my seven ninety nine piece that I actually paid four bucks for, to this, I kind of like this one better because it has a more sentimental uh, meaning to it. So um, this just shows you that you can think outside the box, create your wonderful little pieces, and um, I have to go to. Hobby Lobby and get more um, sprays. That's what that means. <laughs> so um, I hope this inspired you guys to create some wonderful, wonderful little projects using your popsicle sticks to create some skis. Till next time, guys. Bye bye.